Hey everyone, welcome to Arts and Crafts with Tammy. Today I'm turning an old desk into a vanity and an old chair into a vanity chair. I'm super excited about this one because I really wanted a vanity but didn't want to spend $150 for one. I bought this desk for $25 and as you can see the left drawer is broken on top. Thankfully, the store I bought it from kept the broken piece, so I was able to fix it. I used wood glue and clamps, as you see in my photo, and let it sit for 24 hours. It doesn't normally have to sit that long, but because of the location of the break, I thought it would be better to wait a little longer since I needed to sand it. After it was solidly on there, I sanded the entire desk, including the drawers, without a problem. The glue held up well. Then I did a primer on the body of the desk. I didn't primer the top because I wanted to stain it. And here it is! Stain on top and primer and paint on the bottom. What was nice is that I already had the stain, primer, and paint. They were left over from other projects, but I did purchase new knobs for $1 each. Now all I needed was a chair for my vanity. I found a chair that my neighbor wanted to throw away. I knew it would work perfectly for what I needed. First, I took the cushion off. I got carried away and forgot to take pictures of the steps to reupholster. But what I ended up doing is throwing away both the fabric and the padding and I was left with a thin piece of wood. I used remnants of carpet padding that I had and cut it to size. I wanted the cushion to be comfortable so I doubled up the padding and glued it together with a spray adhesive. Then I used remnants of a fabric that I had from a different project that I did for my bedroom. And I stapled it to the back of the piece of wood. Now for the base of my chair. I cut the top off and cut about an inch and a half of the legs. Then I sanded, primered, and painted it. I realized I wanted to have a small back to it to make it easier to grab. I used a piece of wood from the china cabinet for the backing. I took the same carpet padding and cut two pieces, one for the front and one for the top. I knew I didn't need padding for the back or bottom of the wood. I glued them onto the wood and then sewed up some of the same fabric I used for the chair cushion to fit the backing. I didn't sew the ends as you can see here. I knew if I did, then I might have a problem putting it on since it was going to be a tight fit. Also, I knew it wouldn't be seen once it was on. I screwed the backing to it and then painted the screws to blend in. And here's my chair! Now the final touches. I took one of the doors off of the china cabinet, which was left over from my hutch and china cabinet video, and I gently removed the glass that was in it. I took the glass and put it on top of my vanity. This way I can easily wipe the makeup off of it. If you notice, the glass isn't exactly the right size, but it works great like this. It doesn't move or shift at all. And you can see my chair fits perfectly under there. I'm so glad I cut a little off the bottom of the legs. I hope this gives you ideas and inspiration to change what you have instead of throwing it away. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to get more ideas, subscribe and hit the notification button. In the meantime, happy crafting!